Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a vintage effect, a VHS effect, or an old film effect onto your videos. Now you could have a video clip and you want to make that video clip look like it was filmed on an old camera or on a film camera, so this is exactly what I'm going to be showing you right now. So to get started, we're gonna jump onto the computer and we're going to be using a tool called Veed. So you can either head over to Google, Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and click on the first link, or I'm going to be putting the link in the description below as well. And then once we're on Veed, if you don't already have an account you'll be prompted to create a new one for free and if you do already have an account we're just going to click on the new project button in the top left now i'm in Veed's project editor so this is where i'm going to upload the video that i want to overlay an old film effect so if i click on upload video and then once i found the video i just click on open and now my video is imported into v so if i just play it back for you all right so this is my example video and we as you can see, I have a video in V Project Editor. So now to add the old film overlay or the grain overlay, all we have to do is go over to the left toolbar and click on the filters tab. And here we have three tabs, the filter tab, the adjust tab, and then the effects tab. So if I head over to the effects tab, here I have a bunch of filters and I can click on any one I want. So for an example, here's a dusty film one. So if I click on that. All right, so this is my example video. And Perfect, and then I have a old film style one. And we're going to be demonstrating. Again, I've got this old one right here, even with a vignette in black and white. We've got uh, the VHS effect, which is a, I'm a big fan of as well. And we're going to be. And then you also have an RGB split, but I'm going to leave it on dusty film. And then to make it look even older, what I'm going to do is actually turn down the saturation a tiny bit just to remove some of those colors to make it a bit more flat. And then I'm also going to turn down the contrast, but very, very lightly. I've just done it too much. Let's go back up. There you go, barely. And there you have it. And then you can also add a bunch of filters if you want to, again, to change it, for example, black and white. So now if I click play. Demonstrating sound effects. So let's say you want to hear. As you can see, now it looks a little bit older, but I'm gonna take that off. And then once you're happy with the old film effect or the grain effect that you've added to your video, all you have to do is then click on download in the top right. Now, if you're planning on sharing this video to social media, you can also change the canvas size. For example, if I'm sharing this to Instagram, click on the canvas size drop down menu, choose the square one by one aspect ratio for Instagram. And as you can see, I now have a video. square video, which I can click and drag and also just click and resize. I just wanna show you that. And then obviously with Veed, you can add a bunch of other things such as music, text, subtitles, elements, shapes, stickers, all of it's there on Veed. And then once again, like I said, once you're happy with it, you just click on the download button in the top right. Veed then starts to render your video. And then once it's finished rendering, you can either choose to download your video as an MP4 file or as a GIF, or you can choose to share it straight to social media such as Facebook or Twitter. That being said, if you have any questions about adding an old grain effect to your videos, let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you got some value from it, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there and with that being said thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video